everyone and welcome back to my channel all right y'all so happy new year to everyone um if you have not heard me say that uh, to you all yet happy new year to you today's video reading is what's the current gossip about you who's gossiping and why um and yeah we're gonna get into it but before i do i would like to thank all of you who are subscribed to this channel thank you to all of my new subscribers so very happy you all have found me thank you thank you thank you uh to anybody that's brand brand new hit the sub button hit the bell notification because i do drop videos weekly also thank you to those of you all who keep me booked and busy if you like to book a private reading a coaching a same day rewalk and repriority reading check that pink comment below as well as the description box below because i do do private readings on my etsy and or you can book through my website so pin comment below as well as the description box below also y'all i got other youtube channels so go to the channel section or check the pin comment below as well as the description box below for my other youtube channels it is lit over there go over there y'all won't be disappointed and yeah follow me on tiktok and instagram at wandering sparrow tarot i have another plethora of readings on tiktok love readings because i know i don't have the algorithm doesn't pick me up too much with those here on this platform so if you want more love readings go over there to my tiktok wandering sparrow tarot or uh, if you want more inspirational and spiritual messages, go to my Instagram, Wandering Sparrow Tarot, both at Wandering Sparrow Tarot. Now, last but not least, you all, this is my project, my baby, my passion. It's about time. It's a time predicting oracle deck. Uh, and it is currently still on pre-sale until the 15th of January. However, um, it releases on the 15th of January for actual sale. It's going to be for sale on Etsy. It's going to be for sale on my website officially. It ships domestically. Shipping is free um, within the United States. It does ship internationally, but it ships internationally um, with the current international uh, shipping rates of, you know, whatever respective area or country or city that you're from that's out of the United States. So yeah, definitely. And yes, y'all, people have been pre-ordering. I am so excited. So yeah, so definitely, you know, first 50 pre-orders are coming with a free thank you gift, an additional thank you gift, um, a gift inside, essentially, uh, from me. It's just to say thank you. I appreciate you. And oh my gosh, thank you. I can't believe that I have made this journey to creating the deck uh this has been amazing like i'm truly very excited about this deck and y'all i got my little like so you know i have all my order in my, my all my decks in i'm getting the orders ready y'all i mean like it makes me want to cry to see like i'm super grateful so thank you thank you universe for this path this journey thank you but anyway let's get into it y'all if you hear some rumblings in the background my cat um he's going crazy he likes to do that every time i, I record every time i'm on the phone every time i'm on a zoom anytime i'm not paying attention to him and it's like oh i know she busy he likes to do his thing so if you hear things stumbling and, and, and rumbling it's him jumping up literally he's jumping off the rafters right now <laughs> but anyway let's get into it so What's the current gossip about you right now? So let's find out. You got three decks to choose from. Now, keep in mind, these are all general messages. You need to take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Uh, yeah, if it doesn't resonate at all, just vibe out. It's totally fine. But three decks to choose from. This is option number one, option number two, option number three. Again, option one, option two, option three. Pause the video, see which of these options you feel resonate with you the most let me go ahead put my little deck in camera view again just boom, flash <laughs> lol uh, pause the video see which of the decks you feel resonate with you the most and then come back when you're ready when you're when you're ready for the answer all right so let's get into it so option number one let's first find out what's the energy surrounding you universe spirit guides and ancestors thank you for the channel messages What's the energies surrounding option number one? Like you all should see this cat. It is hilarious. What's the option surrounding option number? What's the energy surrounding option number one? All right, four swords, two of pentacles, four of coins in the reverse, and two of cups in reverse. Option number one, 
I'm seeing that there's energy surrounding you trying to kind of pick up the pieces. You might have just recently let go of something, a connection. For some of you, this doesn't have to be love. You know, we know the Two of Cups, you know, encompasses the energy of love, but it doesn't have to be a relationship of romance. It could be a, a not even a friendship. It could be you walking away from maybe, you know, a job. It could be you walking away from something, you know, maybe a non, you know, human interaction type of thing. You know, like it could be you walking away from a job, walking away from a, a certain organization or what, whatever. But it feels like you feel a bit stuck, st stuck and stagnant. I feel like currently you might be in an energetic space where it's like, okay, I'm trying to, you know, maintain control, even out control and kind of get things in balance. That's what I'm getting with that one. So let's see. Universe, spirit, guides, and ancestors. Thank you for the channel messages. Those who choose option number one. What's the current gossip about option number one? What's the current gossip? We have the star card in the upright. We have the king of swords in the reverse. Interesting. Definitely option number one, you are a topic of interest with the star card. You yourself could be an Aquarius. We got a lot of air energy that's come out and some um, earth energy. But yeah, you yourself can be an Aquarius with the star card or you can be an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini. You could be sun, moon or rising. Um, but this is like prominent energy. Sorry, you guys. I had to move my chapstick from my cat because he wanted to play chapstick soccer. And I would have never found that chapstick. And I need my chapstick in the winter time. Um, give me more information. Universe for guys and ancestors. What's the current gossip? Well, option number one right now. What's the current gossip? Well, option number one. Queen of Cups. Yeah. People are gossiping about you stepping away from something. You're definitely very popular right now um, in regards to people talking about you. And definitely they're talking about you in regards to letting go of something, stepping away from something. People haven't talked to you in a moment either with this King of Swords. That's what I feel like with that. King of Swords and Queen of Cups. I feel like people are gossiping or feeling like you're being a bit cold right now. Option number one, like, because it really feels like, ooh, you just might have just really cut some people off or some things off. Um, like, you walked away from something, whatever this partnership was, this relationship, you walked away from it and you haven't turned back since. You know, you're not talking to folks, you're not answering, you know, acting with people, you might not be returning calls. For some of you, this has to do with, with a church. Like, you might have walked away from your church. We got the Temperance card in reverse. You could be a Sagittarius. Um, but it kind of feels like you're might like you're in this avoidance energy option number one that's what i'm getting with that one hold on straighten up the what you call it now yeah with the temperance card in the uh reverse it feels like you're in some avoidant energy now now it's not an unhealthy avoidant energy like it's not avoidant energy option number one in a traditional sense of you know i'm going to pretend like it's not here it's not here i'm not doing it. no this is more so like you removing yourself from a toxic you know relationship give me more information what's the current gossip so the people that's gossiping about you i don't feel like these are your friends like they don't feel like enemies but they don't feel like close friends they feel like like you know maybe constituents associates universe spirit guys and ancestors are actually born what's the current gossip about option number one give me two cards six of swords in the reverse magician card in the upright yeah you took some type of leap of faith um I feel like people are gossiping about you either going back to something like an old way of doing things or or people are speculating that you might have left whatever this situation was, whether it's the relationship, work, friendship, whatever, you know, organization. Because for some of you, I'm getting a, a, a church message. You've left this sector and area of your life, this chapter, you're closing it to go back to something else. It's like you're trying to, to level up. People are gossiping about that. Like you're trying to level up or glow up or manifest, you know, something better, something higher. You definitely have people here who are, but I feel like people feel like you're leaving their life, you know, like, like you're outgrowing them. That's what that is. That's what that is. Universe for guys and ancestors. Thank you for the channel messages. What's the current gossip? On option number one right now. What's the current gossip? Yeah, three of staffs in the reverse, six of staffs in the reverse. Yeah, it's about being low-key. It's about 
people definitely feel like you have some people here that are triggered that feel not that you feel like you're better than them, but they feel that, you know, like it's a trigger coming up. But overall, it's yeah, it's about you stepping away. And it's like you didn't give any prior warning, but people are gossiping about it having to do with a glow up. Look, nine of pentacles in the upright, nine of coins in the upright. This is, yeah, you are kind of in this solo moment, this isolated moment. Now, on your end, option number one, I'm not feeling like there's this true isolation here. Like, like you know, that you're not talking to nobody. It just feels more so like you are distancing yourself for personal reasons not even because you got problems with anybody but for personal reasons it feels like you might be on a journey of finding yourself but the people that are gossiping about it i don't think they think it has to do with finding yourself some people are taking this personal so yeah so let's see who's gossiping about you and why option number one universe spirit guides and ancestors who's gossiping about option number one and why who's gossiping about option number one and why you got the five of swords in the upgrade who's gossiping about Option number one and why. We got the devil card in reverse. Look, that's who. Yeah, these are people. I don't feel like you have a close relationship with them. Once again, hey man, and the upright, more stuck energy. And look, this is also the energy of surrender, energy of spirituality. So yeah, for some of you, this has to do with some type of organization or maybe some type of religious something that you were involved with that you found out you know no longer suited you i see energy here of people that may have been conniving plotting and planning devil card in reverse we got uh capricorn energy here so maybe there's some you know maybe this person could be a you know one of the persons because this is more than one person one of the persons could be a capricorn but essentially the people that are gossiping about you is people that you walked away from from an organization that you walked away from for some of you this might be a sorority or fraternity <laughs> Like you walk, you've walked away from it, but, but I'm feeling like you felt like there was no camaraderie there, there was no brotherhood, no sisterhood, you know, no no kinship there, and so essentially, I'm not getting the energy that anybody's gonna be plotting and scheming on you, but it does kind of feel like people are there's some underlying jealousies that was there. It feels like people, you know, now that you're gone, it's like you know what, I never liked them anyway. You know, mm, yeah, they weren't even all that. You know, like it's giving kind of like bitter, petty energy, just kind of out of nowhere. And it was always this maybe underlying plotting, conniving, and scheming. And definitely like the strong energy I'm getting here of the people that's gossiping about you is people that have motives. Like they're they're looking for a leg up, that type of thing. They're, they're, it's really giving fake love. So it's definitely feeling like people that may have, you know, the person, the people that are gossiping about you is people that, you know, definitely they have your number. You've been out to lunch with these folks. Um, but it's people that may have pretended to be closer to you than what they really are. And then the moment that you no longer served a purpose for them, or now that you've left that situation, for some of you, this is a job, super big. Now that you've left that situation, all of a sudden it's like, so we don't talk no more? You're not answering. Like, I thought we was cool. Like, we was just sharing baby pics. You know, like, it's giving that type of energy. Like, now that you're no longer a part of them, you're the us, you know. Or you're now that you're no longer part of us, you're the them, you know. It's giving like an us and them energy. That's what I'm getting with that one. So, let me get some letter charms to see. Watch your ears. Letter charms to see who this person may be. Or people, rather. You might see names, initials, characteristics. But let's see. Who's talking about you? It's coming out. We got the letter V. We got the letter D. We got the letter L. Vita. We got the letter I. We got the letter X. We got the letter J. Linda. There's a name that's coming to, towards me. Linda. Somebody's name is Linda. Uh, or that may be, you know, middle name, last name. It, it, that somebody here, it, it's a Linda. We got the letter T. We got the letter L. We got the letter B. We got the letter L again. We got the letter T. We got the letter C. We got the letter S. We got the letter E. License. Yeah, I'm saying the word license. Well, not the whole word, but but license is coming up. So this something to do with the license. License, license, license is coming up. We got the letter N. We got the letter I. And we got the letter I again. 
So that's what I'm saying. So you might, once again, you might see, you know, the letters that spell Vince. I'm saying Vince. Um, you might see the letters that spell the name. You might see initials here, but this is what I have for you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Option number one in regards to who's gossiping about you right now. These are not friends, but they're people that pretended to be friends and they're people that pretended to be close to you when it served their purpose. And now these people are very distant, but at the same time, I don't feel like this is a loss option number one, because I do feel like you yourself have also distanced yourself from this energy. It's like, okay, well, it feels mutual, but it definitely feels like something you picked up in your spirit. Like, mm, that wasn't going to be a long lasting situation. Like you knew the moment you left the connection that it was going to be a wrap. So that's what I have for you. Option number one. So you all let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you feel compelled to. If you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, send every walk and read. Priority reading, check the pin comment below as well as the description box below. Um, it's about time, my time predicting Oracle deck and uh, Minor Arcana Tarot. You can pre-order it now. Purchase it for pre-order now. Um, on, <laughs> y'all, my cat is making me. <laughs> this cat is funny. You can pre-order it now on my website. It will be on Etsy and my website. I'm in the process of, you know, figuring out how to get it on Amazon also. So that'll be something soon. But as of right now, it's on my website. And then on the 15th of this month, January 2023, you'll be able to purchase it on Etsy as well. And then very soon after that, I'm figuring out an Amazon situation. Uh, follow me on my other YouTube channels. Check the pin comment below as well as the description box below. And what else I got going on? Y'all, I got to start writing stuff down. I have so many things that I'm remembering now. Like, oh, I want to set that up. Y'all. Um, but yeah. Follow me on my other YouTube channels. Pin comment below as well as the description box below. And yeah, my website, One Inspiro Tarot. And let's move on to option number two. Hey, it's me. number two let's find out what's the current gossip about you right now first let's grab the energies that's on you surrounding you so universe prayer guides and ancestors what's the current energy surrounding option number two what's the current energy surrounding Oop. this one wants to fly out we got queen of pentacles in the reverse what's the current energies option number two you haven't been paying attention to yourself this is about self-nurturing with this queen of pentacles energy i feel like this is an energy of there's definitely a need for self-care here with the queen of pentacles in reverse cherry cart in reverse you might be a bit distant from family right now option number two what's the current energy surrounding Ooh, that this wanted to come out it was in the middle and look what happened yeah you might be in a bit of avoidant energy um right now option number two that's what i'm saying with that you, you're uh, kind of distant from family and definitely when it comes to self-care, you haven't been really paying much attention to that. Um, option number two, are you going through any energies of sadness? I would definitely say take inventory of how you're feeling right now. Are you going through any energies of sadness? Are you feeling any depressive energies maybe? Because it's, it's not like a energy where it's like, oh, I'm not talking to nobody right now. I'm taking time to myself. It's given the energy of, you know, kind of maybe self-isolating due to, you know, kind of like I'm not going to deal with this right now, you know, that type of thing. Like in option number one, I got the energy of avoidance, but it was a different type of avoidance. It was like, you know, I'm moving on from this situation. All right, y'all deuces. This energy of avoidance is kind of feeling like, you know, trying to cover, you know, not face something. Not you cover it from yourself, but you not face it. And then we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So you might have been feeling very lethargic lately. That's what I'm saying with that one. Like maybe feeling kind of a bit slowed down a bit. For some of you, I'm getting the energy of maybe over exertion when it comes to work. Feeling very exhausted when it comes to work. Give me more information, Universe Spirit Guides, Ancestors. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. There's a lack of, you know, there's a very big need to pay attention to self, pour into self here. Um, I'm seeing some neglect towards yourself, option number two. So whatever it is that, that's going on in life, you know, as best you can, try to take a moment, you know, to just pay attention 
pay attention to your body, pay attention to what you, you know, to what your body is saying to you. It's definitely there's some, yeah, it's a bit of neglect here when it comes to self, but let's get into it. So, universe, spirit, guides, and ancestors, for those who chose option number two, what's the current gossip about option number two right now? What's the current gossip about option number two right now? So, wow, this is so interesting. So, the star card came out was the first card that came out, um for option number one when i asked the question what's the current gossip after you know the energy that is interesting and you, as you all know i use different decks um star card in reverse what's the current gossip right now we have the six of pentacles in reverse people are talking about you maybe being in hiding not actual hiding like you're not really hiding but you're laying low and i feel like people are definitely talking about that right now uh, people may feel like you might be in a bit of prideful energy and at the same time this strength card is giving me the energy of people that are supporting you but yeah you oh this is an energy about stepping away again but this is a shameful energy that's coming out with this option number uh two there's something in regards to shame like it may have been something recently where maybe egg was on your face about a situation or people are assuming this um, but definitely it's people, it feels like speculation, option number two, because yeah, like you've really been drawing your energy back from others, but yeah, this one isn't, this one isn't so positive. Like it feels like there's suspicion there. Like you've been pulling your energy back because you've been suspicious about things. You've been suspicious about, you know, people. That's what I'm getting with that one. Universe, spirit, guys, and ancestors. What's the current gossip? You feel betrayed four swords in the, in the reverse i'm seeing you this is honestly four swords in reverse is giving me the energy uh, it's giving me i'm hearing busy work as i'm you know like looking at the card so i feel like yeah you've been doing some type of numbing in regards to you know i'm not i'm not dealing with this right now i'm not dealing with this right now there's some type of betrayal that you have here and it feels like it left you depleted and definitely people are talking about this it feels like it left you depleted now, once again, like option number one, it doesn't feel like friends are the ones that are talking about you that are gossiping. Like it doesn't feel like friends that are, you know, the chit chatting about you in regards to, you know, like, cause it's not coming from a positive space. It's definitely coming from a gossip space. Like it's not coming from a space of, you know, like, Hey, we got to call, you know, Barbara, see if she's okay. No, this is like a girl. Did you see what happened with Barbara? Yes ah uh, and yes I, mm -hmm. like it's giving that type of energy so like there's an energy here of popularity right now like what well, option number one you your mr or mrs popular right now but here's the thing about this popularity it's about infamy it's something that people are gossiping about that has to do with something that you're trying to conceal because there's some shame here we got the hermit card in the reverse Ooh, yeah you're hurting right now hermit card in reverse or somebody has hurt your feelings. Knight of Pentacles in the upright. I see you trying to make a new beginning, a, a new start. I don't feel like you're moving forward from, you, like you're not moving away from anybody or moving on or leaving anything. But it's definitely given you have, you know, jumped yourself into work because there's something embarrassing here that you feel ashamed about. That's what I'm getting with that. And you have people that... It could be people that you're working with, that's what I'm picking up on, or family even, that are gossiping about, like, yeah, you heard about what happened to so-and-so and so-and-so. That's what I'm getting with that one. So let's see what this thing is. Seven of Cups, like, you feel like you're out of options, whatever this thing is. Seven of Swords, like, you've been, something, whatever, you know, this this has to do with business, is you've been exposed. It's like, you know, it's like the, 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 the soft belly meat is just open. You know, the muscle is all exposed. Seven of Swords and Seven of Cups in reverse. It's something like something that you were covering or concealing. A secret has been brought to light, but not because you, you know, hey, everybody, this is my truth. Da, da, da. You know, like, no, this is something that's been exposed, that's been found out, that's been blabbered about amongst people. So let me get more information. Universe, give me clarity. What is this thing? The option number two is taking space from what is this thing that's been exposed, that's been ten of cups it has to do with family and this maybe could be the reason why you stand away from family ooh ooh ooh, ooh infidelity ooh, ooh 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 yo for some of you this has to do with infidelity 
um, there was a third party involved, or maybe for some of you, for some of you, maybe, you know, you, you got a spicier type of relationship, you know, you, you, you like to have, you know, group encounters. And this is something that, that, that's been exposed. I'm hearing something for some of you, I'm hearing it has to, I'm getting a lot of religious messages today because I'm getting another religious message. For some of you, you may be Muslim and there's something in regards to that's been exposed about your lifestyle that goes against, you know, your culture and your religion. That's what I'm getting with that. So for some, because it's like a big, like this is something, when I tell you all, I feel the energy of shame. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you, universe. When I tell you all, I feel the energy of shame. Like, I feel like, like it's like you're in hiding. That's what this is. Like, you haven't been, it's like a worry energy there. It's like, you know, like, you're pulling your hair out. You, like, worry. And for some of you, that's what I'm saying. And not all of you, but for somebody, this is very specific. specific. It feels like it has something that goes against your culture and your religion. And I'm definitely strongly getting like Muslim vibes. Like like you yourself could be Muslim um, or maybe, you know, a close family member, whatever. No, 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 no. This is about you. You yourself could be Muslim. Like you don't have to be, but this is for somebody in, in specific. And there's something that was exposed about like maybe your lifestyle, maybe your family. But, but there's been, I feel like, almost like there's been like this public reckoning. Like people have really like... It doesn't come to you as a surprise for some of you that, you know, that this, whatever this is that's coming out in the cards that it's developing because you've had this energy come towards you head on. Like it really is giving the energy of people like going, you know, you shouldn't be doing, you know, like it's a very shameful, it, it's like a, I'm not helping you do better. I'm not helping you be better, but I'm going to talk about you and chastise you. That's what that is. And for some of you, it has to do with, with a family situation. There could have been infidelity there. Or you yourself could have stepped out and it got out. That's what I'm getting with that one. Or there's some type of overindulgence and party in here. But it's affected your family unit. That's what I'm getting with that one. So universe. But it's affected your immediate family. Like it, it feels like it's affected like, you know, you and your significant other in the household. Not like it's affected y'all. And, you know, like it's affected you and your significant other in the household. And then it's gotten out to other people. And people are now talking about you. Yeah, these people that are gossiping about you are not your friends. So you're popular right now in a sense, but it's infamy. Give me more information. Universe, Spirit, God, and ancestors. What's the current gossip? Three of Pentacles in the upright. Yeah, people could be talking about you at work. That's what I'm getting with that one. And then Five of Wands. It's this avoided energy. You've been kind of keeping to yourself and other people have been keeping to themselves again um, also with the Five of Wands. Like, it's kind of like, okay, well, you know, like they'll be cordial, but, but they've been keeping to themselves. So let's get into it. So let's find out who's gossiping and why. Universe, Spirit, Guides, and Ancestors. Thank you for these channel messages. Who's been gossiping about option number two and why? Death card in reverse could be a Scorpio. Ace of Swords in the upright. We got um, air sign energy. That's Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But somebody, maybe this is management. Some type of, this is an official something. Like somebody that maybe you work with. Like it's, it's not given, you know, like close personal contact. Um, or some type of authority figure, you know, in a religious sense. Um, five of Cups in the reverse. Now, this does feel like the energy coming out of a friend who's maybe been trying to give you wise counsel, who's been trying to like, you know, kind of like, hey, you know, like, don't worry. Because it does feel like you, yeah, this is the energy of shame. And it feels like a situation where I do kind of feel like you might have had a lot of people turn their back on you or kind of just, you know, distance themselves from you right now. But it also feels like you have this one person that's like in your corner, like, you know what, this is all going to blow over. Yeah, there was some type of expose when it comes to your family. And then we have the Emperor in reverse. Uh, that's Aries energy. Yeah, this is some type of authority figure within, yeah, within your religious, cultural aspect or at work. But something, something has come out when I'm getting into energy. Something has come out, option number two. That has to that could have put your your job in jeopardy for some of you, and definitely have put your family in jeopardy. And it's about something that has to do with your lifestyle, something that essentially was very private. You know, like wouldn't have been privy to anybody. And it feels like this energy was exposed by somebody you might have assumed was a friend. Magician card in the upright. Yeah, 
and these it's so crazy that the cards are coming out and these are similar cards that was coming out in option one magician card at the up and up right at the bottom of the day i do see you overcoming all of this but this this kind of feels like a bit of a, a difficult time because it feels like it's a lot of ridicule happening to you at this point in time option number two so yeah i definitely and then when it comes to why people are gossiping option number two it feels like they're gossiping because like literally it feels like yes girl word on the street like it's not given like I would say this one, it's not giving the energy of like an underlying sinister, like, because it don't feel like these people know you, know you. It just really feel like, did you hear about what happened to so-and-so? Oh my God. Like, it's really giving that. So let's get some letter trying to see, you know, who's gossiping about you further and if you can connect anything. All right. So you may see names. You might see initials. You might see, you know, identifying things to somebody that sticks out for you. But let's see what comes up. So we got the letter W, we got the letter A, we got the letter E, we got the letter Q. Strongly, I'm getting a Q name, like a like a Kevon or Quentin or, you know, but it's given a strong Q name. Somebody's name starts with a Q or somebody's middle name is a, starts with a Q letter E, the letter Y, we got the letter N, the letter I, the letter A, Winona, I feel like that, that's somewhere in this, this configuration of letters, we got the letter R, we got the letter N, we got the letter W, we got the letter O, we got the letter E, we got the letter A again. We got the letter G. We got the letter A. We got the letter F. I definitely feel like your faith is being tested. We got the letter E and E again. We got the letter E again. <laughs> we got the letter E again. So it's safe to say somebody who's gossiping about you, whoever's involved, or maybe the name of the company, just something is strongly involved in the letter E. That's what I mean. There's a strong energy with the E right there. Um... The name Erica just popped into my mind. So Erica or Eric could be. Um, and then Q. I got a really strong vibration off the letter Q. So that's what I have for you, option number two. So you all let me know how you felt about this in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, go to my website. Pre-order my Oracle deck. It's about time. It's a time-predicting Oracle deck as well as a minor arcana tarot deck. And it is available for, it's available for pre-order right now on my website. And it'll be available officially, it's releasing officially January 15th, 2023, which is like, what, five to, to six days from now. Um, it ships free in the U.S. and it does ship internationally, but international shipping rates apply. And for the first 50 pre-orders, I am giving away a special gift, a thank you gift to those of you all who pre-ordered. But yeah, you all go to my website. It's going to be available um, on Etsy and my website for full-on purchase uh, once it fully releases and yeah everything is shipping on the 15th so those of you who pre-ordered you are getting this day you'll have your tracking number on the 15th uh, permitting weather permitting but but you should be getting it on the 15th because everything is ready to go y'all these packages are made up I'm just waiting to mail them out so amen thank you universe I say I am glad for that but anyway y'all if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, same day read, walk and read, or priority reading, I want you all to check that pin comment below as well as the description box below. I might be running a sale right now. I'm not even sure at the time of me doing this reading, but I, I be doing it. I be doing a little sales and sometimes I just be, come on, let's do a sale, you know? So I might be running a sale. So make sure you check down below, pin comment below as well as the description box below. Also, I have other YouTube channels. Check the pin comment below as well as the description box below for those. Go follow me over there. And Wandering Spiral Tarot on TikTok and Instagram. Go follow me on both of those platforms. You would not be disappointed. And... Hey, it's me.
get into it with our very last option, option number three. Let us find out what's the current gossip surrounding you, option number three. First, before we get the current gossip, let's find out what's the current energy surrounding you. So what's the current gossip about you right now, but what's the current energy surrounding you currently, option number three. The universe, spirit, guides, and ancestors, thank you for channel messages. Whoop. What's the current energy surrounding option number three? What's the current energy? Eight of voices. Ooh. You might be feeling a bit stuck right now. Eight of voices, nine of emotions, three of materials. I see you definitely making, like, you're very focused on trying to, to achieve a work goal. This could be, you know, moving up in a different field, moving up in your current field. But definitely this is about advancements of work. So I'm seeing, so this isn't restrictions as in like, you know, self-sabotaging. This is more so like restrictions of like, you know, discipline self-discipline that's what i'm saying with that one the will of fortune yeah you're betting big on yourself like you're you coming into the new year super strong so your energy is focused on you know glowing up being being better going the extra mile even when you don't feel like it that's what i'm getting with that one so yeah this isn't a self-restricted eight of voices which is the eight of swords card um in this particular deck yeah this isn't an energy of restriction in the sense of i'm yeah I, I can't do it this is more so like i'm making the, the the sacrifices that i need to make for the greater good so go ahead hey 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 so let's see universe spirit guides and ancestors thank you for these channel messages what's the current gossip on option number three for whatever reason i don't know i don't know what's gonna come out in these cards but i feel like i don't think it's gonna be a deep gossip message on you because i'm not feeling any type of adverse energy towards you at least not in this shuffle but you know things always surprise but let's see universe spirit guys and ancestors what's the current gossip on option number three what's the current gossip seven of emotions in the reverse that's seven of cups in reverse we have the muse of voices king of swords in the upright for some of you you might be going back to school that's what people are talking about um like you've made some type of decision to go back to school or to this definitely has something to do with focusing on work or academia this is what people are talking about eight of emotions yeah like you could be you could have left the school left the situation you know and not because it didn't suit you but because this is for growth purposes that's what i'm getting with that one the magician card yeah this is for growth purposes and it doesn't really feel like leaving something like you know like when I say leaving, it's like, you know how when you leave home to go away to college, but you come back for the summer, you know, like a temporary, like, I'm doing this thing I have to do. For some of you, this has to do with health. You might have gone to some type of, you know, health retreat, you know, like it, it, it's not a permanent thing. It's not a, I'm leaving forever and I'm done with this. Bye. It's like a, no, I'm doing X, Y, Z to take care of myself. I'm getting myself together for some of you yeah this has to do with school certification of some sort some type of learning something or some type of maybe you know health program like you're, you're, you're figuring things out universe for guys and ancestors was kind of gossip on option number two yeah people aren't gossiping about you in a bad way people are definitely this definitely feels like a very much more warm energy is people talking about something in regards to like yeah did you see so and so yeah like they doing really yeah they really taking the time out like you're making life changes page of voices yeah like you might be on a current social media break and this is what people are talking about like your habits are changing but they're they're changing for the good they're they're, they're better and people are definitely talking about the improvement they see with you the full card in the reverse you could be prepping to take a big leap of faith with the full card in reverse but you're being very cautious about it right now universe spirit guides and ancestors for some of you you're prepping to move out of town page of materials or you're looking to to move out of town or something like that move on but once again it feels like for some of you you might be getting you might be considering some type of program to, to to join some type of program it could be out of town or it could something once again it's a temporary thing it's like something where it's like you know do these things for this six for these six weeks and the rest of your life is 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 on track it's like that type of thing for some of you there's some type of you might be on a current detox um to like reset once again it's like do this for xyz and this is going to reset your life um justice card for some of you you might be pursuing you know something in law or having to do with law but yeah people are definitely feeling or there's spiritual enlightenment here too <laughs> i definitely feel like people 
are gossiping about the fact that yeah there seems to be some type of enlightenment some type of elevation raise in in who you are in your in your energy this is a definite glow up yeah nine of inspirations in reverse it's like you're not struggling no more and i feel like those struggles may have more to do with like you know mental distress like you know like uh the things that we let get in our mind and just boggle us down but yeah yeah no this has to do with yeah people are seeing you glow up and really focus on self and you're taking some type of journey you know to make it sound more epic but like it's like some type of but it, it is a journey in a sense but all i know is whatever this thing that you you're focusing on and it's a very positive thing it's it's not a a, a long-term thing it's like even if you're leaving the state you're not leaving forever it's like oh I'm, I'm gonna live here for a few months i'm getting myself together for some of you this might have to do with actual rehab like you might be going somewhere for you know to, to get yourself together in whatever way that rehab is needed but yeah for some of you this might be rehab in a sense of it may not be substance abuse it may be you know maybe you've suffered an injury but it definitely feels like people are seeing you get better they're seeing the glow up so give me more information universe spirit other ancestors what's the current gossip one option number three the sun card yeah people are they're gossiping about you being successful you're no longer fighting with yourself you might have had you know a bit of a tendency to self-sabotage in the past option number two i mean or i'm sorry option number three and people you know and it feels like people in love may have you know noticed that it, it, it tried to keep you on the right track but now it feels like you're showing up for yourself so people are seeing this change and this is what they're talking about so let's see who's gossiping about option number three or why who's gossiping and I, I don't even know if i can truly call this gossip ace of voices in the reverse five of emotions in the upright now, you do have somebody currently here that you're not talking to that's seeing these positive changes in you. They're missing you. Awakening, judgment card in reverse. It could be a, it could be friends or romantic interest that you left behind. Ten of emotions in, in reverse. And I'm saying, it, it, for some of you, this is family you're not talking to. And then we got the three of voices in reverse. So, for some of you, you could be coming off the, the hinges of, you could be coming off the hinge. You could be coming off the hinges of, of, of a, you know, a romance that did not quite work out. It could have kind of left you a bit, you know, scarred. And you now you're picking up the pieces. You definitely have, you know, some ex energy here that's, you know, seeing you make these changes. And they're happy for you, though. Like, it's not a resentful, like, ooh, I hope you die. You know, it's, it's, it, they're happy for you. But you definitely have some people here that you're not talking to, that you kind of cut off for good reason, you know, because they kind of maybe contributed to the energy you were in prior to this, um, who are noticing that and, and going, you know, well, I'll be damned. They really doing it. I'm proud of them. That's what I'm getting with that one. So I don't think, yeah. So the energy is just coming out. It's not so much, I can't say it's super deep heavily on friendship and family because i don't feel like you've isolated yourself from anybody like friends or family but the people that are gossiping are people that don't have close entry into your life and it's definitely giving ex relationship vibes uh more so romantic but this also could be ex friendship vibes but definitely people that are watching you from afar and they are clapping for you and it makes them miss you so if that's any consolation you know you got people out there that that let go of you or you or may have you know deeply inspire you to let go of them that are proud of you and it's like well well damn mm -hmm. you know like that so let's get some letters to see who these people may be you might see characteristics you might see first names last names what have you but let's get it all all right so we got the letter e we have the letter e again we have the letter s we have the letter we have er this person could be in the medical field in any capacity but they can work they can work in a medical field or maybe work at a hospital we have the letter a a s s l o l <laughs> this person could be a donkey l o l uh maybe somebody was an a-hole towards you but we got the letter a we have the letter s we have the letter s let me stop being a child we got the letter n we got the letter i we got the letter o we got the letter a again mason wants to come out m a s o n that's what I'm feeling with that. Or M-A-I-S-O-N. Somebody's name. This could be somebody's name. That's what I'm getting with that one. We have the letter T. We have the letter R. Again, we have the letter O. Sore. People are watching you sore. And people are feeling sore. People are feeling sore, you know, watching you, you know, glow and grow 
without them because definitely this is the energy of somebody or people who have mistreated you you know mishandled you and then people are watching you soar like a bird like an eagle maybe bird is like your your spirit animal something to do with birds could could be rapping with you you know as you watch this channel wandering sparrow you know you have a deep connection to birds we got the letter k there's a name sticking out strong for me somebody with a k name we have the letter g let's see get ready with me do i have a w i have a w Um, we have D, we have N, we have T again. So yeah, so there's some bittersweet energy here. Definitely there's some people that may have, you know, cut you loose, counted you out. But now it's like, wow, you know, you know, you have proven yourself to be the strongest one. And yeah, and it's like, well, you just missed out on me. But they're definitely rooting for you. That's what I get with that one. But they know that you don't want to talk to them either. <laughs> so that's what i got with that so thank you so much option number three for uh, tuning into this reading you all let me know how you felt about this in the comment section below like comment share subscribe one pre-sale right now for the next six days because it goes on sale officially january 15th um it's about time the time predicting oracle and minor arcana tarot deck uh, for those of you, thank you so much who have pre-ordered. There's a special gift for those of you all who pre-ordered. And not just that, but yeah, this will be mailing out on the 15th. So right when the deck releases, it will be mailing out. And yeah, I can't wait to get these out in the mail, y'all. Every Like I said, everything is ready to go. Everything is packaged. I'm just waiting on an official release date so that I can just formally put it out there to y'all but like i said i am super excited about this and i'm thinking i'm thankful to all of you all who have been with me on this journey my channel is about to turn four four years old in two months in march march 1st my channel is a pisces and i'm super excited for that and look how far we've come so thank you all also if you want to book a private reading coaching same day read walk and read priority reading i want you all to check that pink comment below as well as the description box below follow me on my other youtube channels pink comment below as well as the description box below follow me on tiktok and instagram at wandering sparrow tarot and yeah y'all go to my website wanderingsparrowtarot.com thank you so much for tuning in and that is it that is all i thank you all um yeah you all take care of yourself happy new years again peace and blessings beautiful people goodbye hey it's me